Imam Wissam, welcome to Let the Quran Speak. Thank you so much for having me. Now, how does someone begin to memorize the Quran? We know that the Quran has been memorized for more than 1,400 years. Yes. Uh, how does someone begin that journey? So the process of memorization, uh, anyone who's gone to medical school, they, this closest you can get, there's rote memorization, mm -hmm. where you just repeat things over and over. That works. Um, but how come you never have to memorize a Drake track, right? You listen to it, <laughs> stuck in your head, right? So there's a difference between a rote memory and the long-term, uh, what I call elastic memory. You want to mm -hmm. be able to use it. So to memorize the Quran, you have to be able to understand you're going to go outside of both. Mm -hmm. You're now entering this divine space. Whether you accept a God or not, we're talking about the love letter we believe from God. So first step is, I'm going to make the effort, do the rote memorization, basic learn to read, know your pronunciation, and read it constantly. So how hard is that? process. Okay, that process is, is really up to the person when they present. The process of memorization, I would say, very difficult. Okay. Like, I memorize the Quran, and now I see other people do it, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> how do they do it? It's so hard. Yeah. Because there's a part in the middle where you're doing it yourself, and you're like, there's no way I can. Mm -hmm. And that's the space in the margin where you leave room for God's miracle. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the big shift. Uh, Quran is one of the few texts, I can't, I can't tell of any other ones that are memorized verbatim. Mm -hmm. And in the text, God says uh, in one section, who uh, definitely I have made this uh, text easy to remember, so who will remember it? Mm -hmm. So leaving the space of, there's no way I can memorize these 100 pages, and then say I'm going to memorize a 500 more because it's 600 plus pages. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is, it is very hard to memorize, except what if you began the process and read the Quran by looking at it over and over? Okay, I can't read. What if you today can't read, don't know the letters, but open the text and ran your finger over it every day, acting as if I did memorize. And if you did memorize, most people forget there's a maintenance process, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a doctor has to take CME credits in the States to keep their license going. Uh, the same way, everyone's like, I want to become Hafiz. I want to become a millionaire. Yo, you got to manage that million afterwards. That's an hour a day. Mm -hmm. And most people don't put that hour in now. So if I wanted to tell you the first way to memorize the Quran, act like you did it already. Put in the hour of touching the Quran, listening to it, reading it, um, interacting with it every day and last but not least I would say before you venture to re memorize retain it like look at the text why wouldn't you have read the whole Quran a dozen times known the structure uh, how many uh, chapters how many verses how many couplets like getting to know your text mm -hmm. uh, when you play a video game a counter-strike or something you want to know the maps right, right. you want to know the shoot em up places so most people dive in or I'm sorry for the viewers who will most People don't choose to memorize the Quran, they're forced to as kids. <laughs> so that kid is like, yo, you don't know my struggles. And the person who's sitting watching our show is like, I'm too old, I can't do it. Yes. So it's the extremes of why can't someone pick up and say, this is, I can do it. I accept that there's a God credit here. There's God saying, you put in the effort, I'll go the rest. And then put in realistic goals. If I put a page in front of you, 15 lines of text, uh, it's almost 300 words. And I said, memorize it. You'd be like, oh. Uh, where do I start? Mm -hmm. And I can give you a memorizing technique, but what if you had read that page 50 times over the last 100 days? Every day you read it once and you just let it go. Uh, we're recording on a Friday today and Muslims read uh, the eight, 18th surah chapter. It's called The Cave. Mm -hmm. uh, if you had read it every Friday since you were a little kid. You probably memorized it most of it, yeah. <laughs> but then the day you did come to memorize it, you're like, yo, I... I know the layout, where it starts, where it ends. So my biggest, and I, our, our time will expire on that thought though, get yourself familiar with Quran first, mm -hmm. then think about memorizing it. Mm -hmm. How do you make a plan to memorize? Like what, you know, it seems like you need to have a sort of routine or, you know, every day. You know, so how I, do you do that? I, I, I teach a program called Memorize Mentor. And so it's it's about longevity. It's not about, hey, I did five pages today and I'm washed out tomorrow. So I'm not uh, shy to share. If you do 7.5 lines a day uh, for six weeks, just get your, get your feet wet. Uh, from the seventh week till the 52nd, the, the whole year, do one page a week, 15 lines. You'll memorize all of Surah Baqarah. 
next mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Then if you do two pages a week the year after that, which is only five lines of text a day, you'll memorize five, ch five uh, chapters. So it's about um, the thousand step journey. Small it, uh, increments of 2.5 lines a day will get you to the end of the longest chapter, uh, longest section in the whole Quran. Mm -hmm. And uh, five lines a day will get you uh, one sixth of the Quran. Mm -hmm. Small so how, how important is it to know how to read the Quran properly before memorizing? Well said. It is uh, prerequisite zero, one, two, three, and four. <laughs> uh, I went to memorize the Quran with all my friends, and they all had finished reading the Quran five times. I never finished reading it. I showed up to the first day of memorization. But couldn't. I'm not talking about reading. I'm talking about like having proper tajweed, as we call it. Okay. So I, uh, but I couldn't even read properly. Wow. So I was <laughs> okay. one step behind you. Um, well, congratulations <laughs> to get at, to getting at this level, right? The, yes, and I, that's why I started from ground zero. I started from the bottom, and now I'm here. So I would definitely. Definitely like to say that if you don't know anything, you can grow. Because if mm -hmm. I could do it, anyone could do it. And how important is Tajweed? It's a part and parcel of learning to read. I think we have gr we all grow up in cultures where mom and dad teaches you mm -hmm. to read. Not properly, but you just know how. And as a result, you separate reading and pronunciation. Let's try to bring it as one focus. Reading and pronunciation can be perfected as you read the Quran 50 times. And then you decide to say, hey, I'm now I'm ready to memorize it. Mm -hmm. Do you think knowing Arabic helps? <sighs> Uh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's a hoax okay. uh, because uh, I'm so sorry. Ask any Arab, are you Hafiz? No, they're, they're not. not. <laughs> so uh, everyone out there touting grammar and vocabulary and learn this. I still say people in other countries can rap an entire Tupac uh, uh, album. They don't know English. They memorize the, the, the flow. Mm -hmm. uh, so Arabic might help you. And I know someone's out there gr uh, grunting. Yes, I the think so. Like, what does he mean? I think it is another tool of guilt. Mm -hmm. You don't know Arabic, so you shouldn't even try. Mm -hmm. And I think that along the way, I'll give you 200 words of vocabulary. They'll help you. But is Arabic a prerequisite? No. Mm -hmm. Recitation is. What, what do you think is the benefit of memorizing? What do you, what oh. do you gain from, from having memorized the Quran? Or pro pro probably going through the process of memorizing too? So to the, the first is in this world. Anything's possible. Um, uh, the shortest period, I memorized the Quran and I got termi um, terminally ill and I was in a wheelchair for two years. Mm -hmm. They said you'd never walk again and I said, tell me it's impossible. They're like, it's impossible. I was like, good enough. So is memorizing the Quran and my legs are not CGI. So I was able to get the process from there to there. If you can memorize the Quran at, at a younger age, 13 to 16, 10 to 13, you can say, I can do anything. Because mm -hmm. you're usually faced with an adversary that big in college and uh, later on in life, like a master's dissertation how do I do this if you can do that it's amazing but if your viewers are willing to switch cross the line if you memorize the Quran what happens according to the text you enter paradise and take 10 people with you if you truly cross the line and said I am going to paradise would you be arrogant would you be backbiting and jealousy have jealousy no you would say I love the world so to me memorizing the Quran is kind of taking on the ticket of I'm going to paradise I don't need I may falter from time to time but to me it's my insurance policy mm -hmm. how do you know that on the day of judgment it's all not gonna hit the fan I'm like well I got this <laughs> I got this so I would say it, it it changes your life and gives you a perspective that yes this world is real but those 600 pages in my head they're gonna have a lot more value in the hereafter do you think everyone should memorize the Quran or do you think there are some people who maybe shouldn't go that route I think there's some people watching this saying no it's not for me <laughs> sure it's not for you but anyone who is done sitting on the sidelines and wearing the jersey and saying yeah go for it you guys can win you if I was on the court I would have done this step up to the plate and you know be a person mm -hmm. maybe you don't memorize the whole thing I don't know why not but why wouldn't you try and say I, I, I am a believer, I have all of these things, and one of the gifts of being a believer is that God said he would make this easy. Let's see what happens. Go for the ride. Take the blue pill. Where is it going to end up? I don't know. Love your enthusiasm <laughs> for this topic. Thank you so much for Thank joining us. Thank you so us. much.